Hello everyone, this is Colin from Fiber Optics for Sale. In this video, I will explain what is SFP, so let's get started. In this slide, it shows a typical SFP transceiver in different views. The first picture is the front view, which shows SFP module has two parts. One part has laser, that is the transmitter side. The other part has a photo detector, which is the receiver side. So basically, SFP is a transceiver module since it has transmitter and receiver in a single unit. The second picture shows how SFP modules are used on PCB board. The right picture shows the perspective view of SFP, so you can clearly see its mechanical outlines. SFP stands for Small Form Factor Pluggable. It is a compact, hot pluggable transceiver used for both telecom and datacom applications. Its mechanical interface and electrical interface are specified by a multi-source agreement, also called MSA. MSA is an industrial group composed of many network component vendors, such as Finisar, Fujikura, Lucent, Molex, Tyco, etc. Engineers from these major vendors came together and made a design that everybody agreed upon. So based on this MSA specification, these companies can make products that work together in a system without compatibility issues. It is almost like an industrial standard. SFP was designed based on the bigger GBIC interface, but it has a much smaller footprint in order to increase port density. That is why SFP is also called mini GBIC. SFP modules can be classified based on the working wavelength and its working distance. So let's take a look at the list here. For multi-mode fibers, the SFP module is called SX. SX modules use 850 nanometer wavelength. The distance that SX modules support depends on the network speed. For 1.25 gigabit per second, the reach is about 550 meters. For 4.25 gigabit per second, it supports up to 150 meters. On the single mode fiber side, there are a lot of choices. I'm listing the most common types here. LX modules use 1310 nanometer wavelength laser and supports up to 10 km. ZX modules use 1550 nanometer wavelength laser and supports up to 80 km. EX module also use 1550 nanometer but supports up to 120 km reach. There are also CWDM and DWDM SFP modules which use multiple wavelengths to support even more bandwidth and distance. And don't forget, MSA also defines a SFP module based on the UTP, twisted pair copper cable, but it supports only gigabit Ethernet. Traditional SFP modules support speed up to 4.25 gigabit per second. An enhanced version, which is called SFP Plus, supports up to 10 gigabit per second. And SFP Plus is becoming more popular on 10 gigabit Ethernet and 8 gigabit fiber channel. SFP transceivers are used on all types of network applications, including telecom, data communication, storage area network. On the protocol side, SFP modules support SONET, SDH, gigabit Ethernet, fiber channel, optical supervisory channel, and more. As a network engineer, it is always a good idea to familiar yourself with all these types of SFP modules to facilitate your own work. So there you have it. Please don't forget to visit foforsale.com for more free fiber optic tutorials. I will see you in the next video.